You've reached the Love and Luck podcast. Hey, honey. Since we're signing the lease next Wednesday, do you want to come meet me after work and we'll head over to the real estate office from here? My boss is letting me out at 3pm that day for some reason, but hey, I'm not complaining. Hey! Yeah, I know your boss is letting you out early. Or at least, I was expecting it. I was the reason he did it. I'm getting pretty good at wielding these magic luck powers. So, while I'm glad you're practicing, we should probably try to do some good with our magic that serves more than just us at some point, I think. I still appreciate it though, so thanks. Hey, you know what? You're right. Plus, we haven't really checked if we can do our weird emotional soothing thing on people other than each other yet, either. I might feed two birds with one worm today. I'm seeing my friend Pat a bit later today for dinner, and they're going through a rough patch right now. Boyfriend troubles, family troubles, it's all a bit fucked up and... They're stressed as hell. I'll see if I can help them relax a little, maybe. Actually, while I'm thinking of them, do you want to meet them? You've met a lot of my friends, but I don't think you've met Pat yet. They're cool, and kind of a homebody like you, so I imagine you'll get along pretty well. Come over to my place after work today? Hey. That sounds good, actually. Count me in. Hey, honey. Sorry for leaving while you're sleeping again. You're still too cute to disturb, though. Anyway, I had a lot of fun last night, and you were right. I really like Pat. We should definitely make sure to have them over for dinner again or something after we move. Also, I'm still kind of freaked out by the fact that we can affect other people's emotions but they can't feel us do it in the same way that we can feel each other. Seems kind of, I don't know, like something that could be abused very easily. I think we're going to have to be very careful with it. Hey, yeah, I know what you mean. This emotional magic stuff could easily be kind of dangerous. Messing around with people's emotions isn't really something that's good to do at the best of times, even without magic. Normally I'd say let's come up with some rules about it, but let's be honest, if there's one thing Hollywood has taught me, it's that coming up with rules for complex situations like magic just makes everything a lot worse. I think if we're just careful, and look out for each other, and Keep in mind that we're capable of some scary shit. I think we'll probably be okay. I mean, we're already capable of bad shit that we have to not do, just by virtue of being human, so... It shouldn't be too hard to add some magic to that equation, you know? You know, that's a really good point. I think we should treat this stuff as if it were mundane. Like... If someone has gone through a breakup and you ask them if they want to be cheered up, it's okay to take physical steps to make that happen. Like ice cream, hugs, going to the movies, that sort of thing. But you shouldn't try and cheer them up without asking, right? They might want to feel sad for a while first, and so you should be there for them during that instead, rather than try and force them to cheer up. So I feel it's probably the same. If someone feels bad and wants to feel better, then it's okay to help them feel better magically. But it has to be something they want. We can't just go around making people feel whatever we think they should feel. That's a really good way of looking at it. You're so smart. I love you. Also, you have solidified my next action for me. 
I'm going to continue using my powers for good today by helping Pat find a boyfriend. I mean, you heard them last night. They're lonely as hell, romantically speaking. And I, Jason the Matchmaker, shall make their dreams come true. Oh boy. Okay. But they're okay with you helping, right? I mean, we literally just went through that. I love you. Don't be too pushy. I am hurt, utterly wounded, by the implication that I could ever be pushy about anything. I am a gentle night breeze of suggestion. I am also a grand superhero, using my powers for good, the good of getting my friend laid. It's a very important cause. <laughs> Behold, matchmaker man, faster than a newspaper printed personal ad, stronger than a tinder swipe, able to smooth awkward first dates with a single joke. Love and Luck is written by Erin Kian and produced by Pasa Volpez Productions. Kane is voiced by Lee Davis Thalborn. Jason is voiced by Erin Kian. Credits spoken by Rosalind Quinn. Recorded by Kermie Braden. For more information about Love and Luck, check out our website, loveandluckpodcast.com. You can also find us on Facebook as Love and Luck Podcast and follow us on Twitter at, at loveluckpodcast.com.